Good morning. Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. Today is July 15th, 2021. And let's start looking at the NASDAQ futures. What we're going to do is we'll go through the risk disclaimer. The risk disclaimer states, all forms of trading carry a high level of risk, so you should only speculate with more money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risks involved and if necessary, seek independent advice. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities have large potential rewards, but also large potential risks. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest into the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. This video is for educational purposes only. And uh, we're just before 8. Remember, I said I probably won't trade until 8.30. So we're, we'll go through it quickly. And uh, let's see if I can get some education for you guys today. Alrighty. And I'll switch over to my screen here. Perfect. All righty, good morning. You know, I've been going for a walk lately. You know, I just try to get back in shape. It's been it's been really tough since I've been back in Canada. I just didn't want to really do much. Just took it easy. But anyway, so I get up early in the morning, go for my walk, just came back. And I said, oh, I'll start at around 8.30. And lo and behold, look at this move. That's okay. That's a 15-minute move, but still. Now, We'll get into a little more of the details a little bit later, but just take a look at this. What I've been saying for the past five years, in a sense, the markets are corrupt, okay? There's always a method, and why do we continuously lose? And it's all about emotion and risk and reward, okay? Now, when you see a drop like this, of course we get excited. Do we jump in the trade, and when do we finish? Well, if you take a look at it, even on the fundamentals, and, I, and even myself, I learn every day. It was funny, I was talking to Isham a couple weeks ago, and I said I was going to program the quarters thing. Never really thought about it. Just subconsciously, I kept on seeing these things. And then he goes, oh, yeah, there's a video about it. Oh, oh my gosh, whatever. So, yeah. Anyways, I still keep on learning, even after all these years. But methodology after methodology even on the fibonacci look at this how it lands on 161 and now she's bouncing back to the middle she blasted through all these market makers blasted through prior opens blasted through prior lows delta is pushing down everything is telling you to sell in the beginning if that's true why don't we sell because we think we're always right and trust me i thought many times myself over the years that i'm right and you've seen me lose bad trades as well so, that's the first thing I want to educate you guys on. Risk, reward, plus emotion. For myself, when I look at this candle, I'm personally, in, in theory, I'm crying because I know what kind of good trade that would have been. I would have done a three-minute video, walked away, and I'm done for the day. But, that's not the point. The point is, this is what I'm trying to teach you guys. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do is, <coughs> I've got this new mouse. Keep on left-clicking. Or reverse click. I got to figure out if I can turn it off. Anyways, <clears throat> let's look in the, into the markets here. Let me get my chart set up because I literally, literally stepped down. I mean, from my walk. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, what I want you guys to take a look at is I've haven't you know I've been just jumping in because it's eight thirty. But I still need you to reflect from the top-down approach. And I'm going to take my time because we have, well, 8 o'clock. So we've got a half an hour, maybe 11.15. We don't know. So what I want to show you. Look how many three days here. Wow, that's interesting. They're trying to break that 15,000. We haven't hit 15,000 markers. So it's going to happen eventually within this phase here, I presume. But as you can see, uh, me. And I have another methodology I'm going to be programming. It's kind of funny. I'm going to get off topic for a second. But um, when I do my walk, of course, I do do my my um, my thoughts and everything, my reflections. And then, I I th of course, I think of trading all the time because this is pretty much half my lifestyle. 
and then I come up with an idea. So I'm not going to expose it right now, but I'm going to do a test. I need to back test it, and maybe this can also assist us during these phases. So, let's prelude. Now let's take a look at the 60 minute chart first on this one. So technically speaking, there's there's our two wicks up here. See, look at we're so close to the 15,000 marker there. It hit twice literally right to the tick there. See, big pull down, look to the left, trade the right, there you go. So maybe that was our drop and maybe she'll go up the rest of the day, we don't know yet. We are uh, zero, basically flat since the market opened. But see, we have to break this level, guys. We did for a little bit here. We have to break this level for the sell phase. There is a huge block down here, which would be kind of really interesting if we can get to the 700 level. Uh, and then that's 550. 550. Interesting. I might put that on there. I'm going to create a new chart here. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, I'm just going to put quarters in here just for now, just to see what it looks like. But I'm putting the boxes on the quarters to basically zero. I, I just want to see the lines here. So it literally hit this quarter, but my question is, yeah, see it's hitting every quarter here, guys. Quarter to quarter, quarter to quarter, quarter to quarter. So I'm gonna actually template, save as, I'll have to up update this for the Discord. I'll call it uh, ABC123, uh, daily swing. 16 minutes. I'll add that later. I like that. So we can actually kind of save a picture here. So 15th, boom, 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 boom. So we drop down, we hit to the bottom, look to the left to trade the right. This is actually a really good map I'm looking at, guys. You know, when we're when we're starting our trades in the morning before the big sell-off on the first hour, where we were set up here. Look at that. We knew from our blocks. There's our order block way down here, which we love to hit somewhere right around there. But if you look at it, look how beautiful that is. Ah, I love aha moments sometimes. So it looks like the way the doji candle's uh, hitting, and we'll look into the next chart here. It looks like the market will try to push up. Maybe we'll hit 15,000 today, the way it's designed. I haven't looked at the news yet. We're just looking at technicals right now. Interesting. I like that. I'm going to go put it back to the daily, though. Okay, so so basically what we're looking at for those three... Oh yeah, I can't use that on the daily. Yeah, you can kind of see candles too. Uh, let me... I'll turn off the indicator for now because we're back on daily. I'll create a new chart for that later. Actually, you know what? I'll put it to six... You know what I'll do? I'll just go like this. I'm rambling, but we have a lot of time on our hands until that 1030 marker. Okay. I'll keep that at 60. I'm going to create a new chart, new NASDAQ chart. And we're going to go to a minute chart. I'm going to go 60 minutes, or no, a daily chart. Sorry, guys. And then I think I have the ABC123 daily. I'm not sure if it's this one because I've been changing things around here. Daily chart or order blocks. There we go. That's the one it is. Okay. There we go. So. We have eight days left in the cycle. It's holding, so it looks like it will try to push up again. Uh, so we're going to, let's see here, one, two, three. We're halfway through that cycle, so it has to be a push up or a push down. And so we know that. Now, when we start looking at the other technicals, which is the next chart, which I'm going to show you here. Let's go back to this chart here. Look at the wipeout. Look at the bounce back. Okay. We saw on on the, um, the high volatility, look at this, there was 4,000 contracts sell off. Basically a rebound this way. It could even bounce down again 4,000. Very volatile, doji candle on the daily. So we'll, we'll wait this out and uh, there, hopefully I get a trade in today. I don't even know yet. 
I don't like him like this personally on 15. It's just, this is just a destruction. Wipe, wipe the guys out, reset, and away we go. We'll find, I bet you any money, I'll, I'll say by 11.15, until we look at the other trade maps, I think that's where we're going to trade. It might whip down all the way down again, up, we don't know. Okay? The markets are being funny right now. Uh, volumetrics, I don't want to look at. And what we're going to do... Now let's start taking a look what this map said. So basically first thing in the morning, if you were looking at it before market open, we were below the cloud. So bias usually is trade below the cloud. And this one exploded this. I mean, this is just an amazing run and and we hit the bottom, she's curling up. But now, see, what we don't have, and this is what I was talking about, is I think we don't have anything in trading here until even it could be 11.02 to 11.30. See the two maps here? So I might act, literally might just walk away until about this time. Because this is, this is too much chop on a one minute. Even if, let's go to a five minute and and see what it's, it's trying to say now you if you want to see something really interesting and in understanding these maps oh yeah, I reversed them see the 950 marker this 950 right here see how it peaked right at the same time right on the money and then it did a major snapback like it shows here. It looks like this map is working. If it is correct and if it follows the map, let's invert it. Uh, did I want it this way? No, I wanted it the other way, sorry. If it follows this map from this point forward, at 11.35 we're gonna have a buy run at one, till about one o'clock, if it's true. We don't know. The, t the, the, the things what you have to do is right at around at these times, these time frames, we start analyzing to see what the market structure is going to, what, what, what it's planning to do, what the markets are trying to do. Because what this is, is basically a recording of the market. It's We record the market to see what the computer algorithms are doing and see what the actual heartbeat and see if they rinse and repeat. Because if you look at a regular chart, up, down, up, down, up, rinse, repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Some are more aggressive, some are less aggressive, some are certain times, some are certain levels, etc. And this is what we as traders try to figure what to do. Now, it's, it's, it's two options because I look as is the market going up, is the market going down? I don't know. I know that 15,000 is a critical number, so we that's the reason why I'm saying that. It's not kind of in the middle. But if we're looking at technicals, still negative. If we're looking at technicals and minus that one delta that snapped up and down, we have this level, this level, and this level. I'm a day trend lover, as everybody knows if you've been following me for a while. If I get to these one of these three levels, I'll really assess it to see if the snap out starts because this is one of the highest probability trades to bang it on okay it's just I just love it uh, we haven't had a really good day trend marker um, if we go back in time oh actually we had it here what time was that yesterday I guess uh, yeah we had a day trend marker see we're right in that box it was a long time but within that box it took off okay but I want to find one that does an immediate snap back those are my favorites uh, it's been a long time this one right here so at 11, no, it still took a long, all, no, see, that was an all day thing. I want to find one that was immediate. It's been such a long time. Um, let me find one. Oh, it's been quite a while. There's the rhythm. See, breaks down right to the mark, boom. And it doesn't look, it doesn't look like as much, guys, but you got to, re oh, I'm on a five minute two. That's the reason why. Okay. Whoops, wrong, wrong one, ruler. See, if you get in within that zone, 
and you start pushing it, see, there's your there's your ninety five dollars, or not ninety five dollars, but your ninety five points. That's why I like it so much. Once you're in rhythm. Okay, so uh, we're gonna wait. It's already ten oh six. I gotta wait till hopefully, because the way the market is, I'm not really interested right now with that snap, uh, and the way it's excuse me, the formation is, and um, what we're going to do, maybe around 10.30 or 11 o'clock, we'll uh, take a look, maybe 11.30. Jobless claims fall to low, so they're fighting back, okay, which is a good news. How to avoid taxes, which is always good news. <laughs> And let's see what they're saying here. Now opens even earn and continue to top expectations. Jobless claims hit new pandemic global New York manufacturing. Not just record high. Dow opens home even if earnings. So maybe they did that pull back to hit the fifteen thousand point level, but everything currently right now is on the negative. Um, are they playing mind games again? China declared shares of global Bitcoin mining plunges while Kazakhstan climbs to third place. So nothing really, nothing, nothing of of actual interest for myself. Thirty four high, negative sixty eight low. Okay. Cloud is going down, possible retracement for the turnaround. Well, it's, it's, it still might play in this zone here. It's just, I just don't like it. I really don't like it. And other than that, I'm just going to wait and see. Wait and see. Let me see. 898. Yeah, so where market open was. Fifteen thirty. Yes, yeah, doesn't show right now. Let's see what happens at eleven fifteen. Yeah, I think it's going to come down again to eleven fifteen and then start this trade. So what I'm going to do is, I'll let this run. I'm going to come back in an hour. I'll let it speed through. So this section will be maybe a five second clip when I'm done and then look at my trade from that point forward. Alrighty. So I'm gonna get my ugly mug off of this off, off this screen and uh, we'll go from there. Hmm, interesting. Shows that, I don't want that. Let me see here. There we go. I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm back here. I'm gonna I'm jumping in. It, it's a free fall day, so this is basically guaranteed money. <clears throat> we'll hit the quarters and see what happens. There's gonna be quite a big big whips as you can see. So I'm following it with the trigger fish a little bit, uh, and we'll work our way down. It's uh, came in around 10:30, quarter 11. That's it's crazy. So we could probably hit 7:31. And the reason why I'm saying 7:31 is it's a uh, it's the most extreme on. The Fibonacci extensions plus we'll see what happens what the reflection is is right on the 50 mark she'll bounce on the 75 which is doing right now and then she's going to blast through again and it's uh, and this is interband I think this is interband one and we're below the interband here so I'm not really worried about it anymore it's uh, she's she's a runner so 
they want to sell off and where I'm showing it is those three levels down there is basically where the volume point of control is as you can see right here so we'll let them bounce it, it, it's out of here it's today is a is a sell-off day so they haven't had a so like we said we haven't had a sell-off and we were on the wrong side of the trade trade for so long so let's see even if I get to 50 then I could probably maybe cash her down today but yeah it's 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 falling like a stone the thing is I'll watch around 11 15 see if there's a pullback if not I'll just cash her out we haven't seen any blue candles once I see a blue candle I will close so I'll watch it from that point forward like I said as soon if I ever see a blue candle shut her down right There's your bounce on the quarter, halfway up the 50, and then you're going to see it go again. So that's a big knee-jerk reaction. To bring it down a little bit more. Up there. And then what I'll do is instead of 31, we'll take a conservative move around 51. Delta is dropping like a stone right now. Or order filled. There, we're done. Shut her down. Sorry guys, this is going to be a short video. We'll just truncate it. It's uh, when it when it comes to a runner like that, I can't teach you the technical side. So that that was just an easy easy money. That's just easy money. And so what we're, we're doing is we're hitting interband levels. Colors are changing here. And when she's on a free fall, I mean, we haven't seen a free fall in a while, but it's so volatile. So you want to cash in 10, 15 points within you know a minute or two, and then just go from there. I mean, here, here is that, see the circle that I've created? I think I might just give you this uh, indicator on there and see how it hit. And so this looked like it was supposed to rejection to go up, but we are on a sell phase. And, um, and I'm watching to see if there's any, um, like here's a volume rejection. Luckily, I closed in time. See, look at how fast it went from 60 to 80. And this is what we have to watch for. And... Uh, but basically what that is, it's, it's, uh, the reason why it does that is because it drops so fast, there's a vacuum. It doesn't have time for the orders to fill. So then there's a rejection. And you're like saying, wow, look at how it bounced up right at the, that quarter level and it's going to keep on going up. We don't know. But right now it's because the market is so crazy and volatile, you really have to watch. Because this could be just a snapback and a continuation on. I mean, it would be really nice to jump right tick to the tick that we know and away we go, but it's uh, it's uh, too deadly. So you just have to wait. Um, I'm, I might, I'll, I'll keep on letting this play for a little while. Might be a five second. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a trade or not. And, um, and I'm just watching my support and resistance levels. And, and the reason why I shut her down what was the low one here yeah see I shut down at 57 and hit 55 so I went a couple more points down now always you always have to front load it because other guys are front loading and what front loading means is we're expecting to hit 50 but the guys are closing their positions earlier and that's what we did and we got it in at seven and they hit five <coughs> so that's what that was our game plan and we're just watching these the bounce backs and Delta is just crashing. I still think until the bounce is done.
it should be able to get to 27 today, easy. We hit 200% uh, Fibonacci. So uh, am I on the right chart? Yeah, I am on the right chart. So we're at 200% Fibonacci right here, okay? And when these violent swings are like that, that's just, you know, it's, it's, tough. it's tough to trade, especially if you don't have a big bank account. So, and I always try to do these educational videos for guys that are trying to pass the combine or trying to learn how to trade. This is extremely volatile, but once you start seeing it, just, just the momentum energy is just blasting. Of course, this is, this is money just given to you. So 10.05 signal failed. 10.35 looked like it failed. It got to that peak. And then she said, let's go for it. And it just ran and sold and sold and sold. Wrong chart, sorry guys, let me do it again. There we go. 1005. Failed. Hit the bottom. Looks like it could have been double bottom at the fifty at the quarters. Bounces back up. And then a big sell-off. And we grab this little last zone here. And it looks like she's gonna sell again. Another sell-off. It's just when you're getting farther and farther and farther down, when do you stop, right? So yeah it's crazy 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 guys we haven't seen actually a day like this uh, you know the other thing i'm just curious about uh, let me see if i can find that other chart see if our time map did work or did it just finally just blow up on us so let's see exactly what happened so day trend if we were following the trend cloud i mean if we were following the baseline cloud look at our entry boom good move okay that's why I need one more monitor so 1135 actually you know what I might actually stay in I'm gonna watch 1135 signal got another half hour yet because I said I was gonna do 1115 because if 1135 we're gonna see if the volume bottoms out because if you look at it if that was such an aggressive sell-off it is following the wave actually it peaked down curled up where you can see the curl up did another sell-off Curled up a little bit, and another sell off, and here's the bottom peak. And then here, it's a possibility of where it's supposed to turn around. We hit a bottom of 54, but it didn't hit a crucial number yet, so it could be just still whipping. We had drive one, drive two, possibly this was the third drive. Let's look to the left. Let's see where we are here. Look to the left. Come on, why is it? I hate when it does that. Let's go like this. Scrunch this. Okay, so we do have an order block. I said I said 20, 27. So fifth target one one. So it's a possibility. And let's look to the left, where we are right now. Anything? A little high yet. So. So we're at 17,455, and I said 27. So yeah, so I'm right in that zone there before it decides to turn around. But I, this is the time you want to look at, 11.35 to see if the trend changes. If the trend changes, we can actually put a buy in. Because we went uh, from, what was it, 55, and we're already at 89.90. That's how much of a swing it is. Very volatile. And we're on a five-minute chart, we're moving 37 points in five minutes. So if we put it to a one-minute chart, let's take a look at a one-minute chart here. Basically $300 every minute it's moving. So we have to give it time. Now, on that five minute, so 11, oh, 11.02. Let's see if it's our 11.02 thing. We got two minutes. Let's see if this thing is our first whip. Oh, it goes to 11.30 and then here. So let's see if we can double bottom out here. Or if we're gonna break 800. If we break 800, we can play up to 825. 
and then we can go from there. And our VWAP is at uh, 82. I think our volume point of control is way up here. See, it's starting to slow down now, right? The heartbeat is slowing down. We haven't had um, a blue candle yet. Do I get blue candles? Yeah, I do get blue candles on this one. We'll find out what happens at 11.02. See, all this chop happened, and then she's, these chops were actually bigger swings. Look at this. Let's see here. 24 was the peak. 31, no. And then we had our two chops right here, which is another whip down here 52 on the bottom so we'll find out 1102 is the same if not it's going to be 1130 she's going to start slowing down here if this is the case right here see could be a fade up for the last drop we're going to find out right away here and i did say 27 did i not so 27 if i'm on the right chart yeah okay the chart that you're seeing but the one i'm looking at is 27 there's a lot of there, there's, there's a lot of um, market maker lines here. So there's a grouping. So if we hit this grouping, we stop. Well, 27, the reason why I'm saying that's Fibonacci extension of 230, uh, I think it's 238. But we, if we can get right down to the 700 level, let it bottom out, and then I think it's going to work its way up. So we'll let them do that last scream, and then we can fade, fade up and take our time taking a trade. <coughs> It would be nice if I could prove to you guys maybe a $1,500 a day or something but for, sh for showing this, but we'll find out. We'll find out, guys. She's a screamer, though. That was a that was a screaming move. There's no doubt about it. They're still in sales. They're still selling hard. Here's the sell off again. Now we're going to crash through the 50 really easy. Because we are at 1102. So this 1102 could be inverted to 1130. And I think it's our 1130 is going to be our, our, uh, our buy in.
Now, what does the news say? In BC. Just watching it. Okay, Big Tech is trying to disarm the FTC by going out of the biggest weapons. Airline race to train pilots as the mandos roar back. Let me see. Uh, NASDAQ versus my numbers, they're all date down today. Um, actually, Dow Jones is hardly down. Uh, the S&P is down a little bit harder. But this one just took a nosedive. And Fox Business, let's see what it says on that one. Atlanta it takes hit over this could be on that one we don't know US Senate the past built to ban all products from China passes bill to ban all products from China maybe that's the reason why <laughs> Past last Wednesday to ban to import products from China's oh Xinjiang region. Okay, so it's just a certain region. I thought it was all China. I was saying, wow, that's an aggressive step that I would have never expected. So Okay, now we're gonna see it push down one more time. We haven't seen any um You know what I think is quite surprising with all this data that's flowing through. A very low market order which blows me away that just that's stunning we're just giving it time for it to work out uh, 1102 is it curling it is kind of curling let me see here 1102 is kind of curling um, Buying back. Now if they break 800, I might actually buy in. Oh, there's a big war going on for buying and selling. There's no doubt about it. Just got to wait and see. I think it's going to be 1130. So 
we haven't had a blue candle yet, so we're still playing this game. We can go to 50 if that's the case. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Order, order filled. And what I'm gonna do is, if it does keep them going up, it's gonna be it's gonna be big swings anyway. So let's see where we can go. Where am I my trigger fish to? Gotta find my trigger fish chart. Let's see, where's my trigger fish chart? Um, is it this one? Okay, yeah, we're above the trigger fish, so I'll, I'll watch this one. I'm gonna switch screens here for you guys. Might do another big aggressive pull down, we'll find out. This probably could be a 11.32, we'll find out. I'm only trying to push up to, well, maybe up to 25 to 50 points. Now where is volume point of control? Volume point of control is at 900. So let's see what happens. Could be one more aggressive sell off, but we'll find out here. Uh, let me see here. They're holding, they're holding. They need to go up at least a couple hundred dollars. So I bought at 99.75, and okay, there's an order block at 12. So we'll see what happens at 12. And if 12 pops bad, then we'll shut her down, make a couple hundred bucks. Just break the 800 level again. Probably 809.50. This 
So what I'll do is around let's go eight oh I'm gonna close that eight oh well we've got ten points already. Order filled. There we go. So five hundred dollars for today guys. Hit another five hundred dollar day, two quick trades. We're hitting that order blow. Oh it did hit thirteen, so yeah, it's just bouncing up now. Anyways, volatile market today. I'm trying to read the markets really well. Uh, 1108 signal did hit. We broke this level. This is an order block I'm worried about. And it's still just too whippy. Um, we're, we're taking momentum energy like crazy. And we, we were bouncing in this zone. Trigger fish, what I'm finding out is trigger fish, if you're using a simple indicator, just while you're deciding of the direction, if you can take a trigger fish trade, you can let the pullback come and go ahead. Uh, it's a very simple methodology, and um, but now you can use this for pinpointing areas of interest. Okay, I'm shutting down this video. I got to crunch a lot, and then we'll go from there. Just make sure you pinpoint your trades. You guys trade safe, and have a great day. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to close my own video. There we go.